Hi everyone, this is Kata and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am super excited for this video. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time and I finally have time to do this and I'm super, super excited and super happy that you're here to watch it. First of all, I wanted to thank you for opening this video and remind you if you haven't to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give it a thumbs up so we can start. So let's get to it. These are my five book recommendations for you. So. I'm gonna start with Ugly's Collection by Scott Westerfeld. And I absolutely, absolutely love this collection. I read it years ago, but I still remember it. And I remember I read the first one because it was a school requirement. And then I purchased the second one, which is Pretties. And then the third one, which is Specials. And then the fourth one, which is Extras. And it was still not enough. I wanted more because it is such a great collection and i love it so much and it's really addictive you you start it's really addicting you start reading and and you can never stop you can never stop it is fiction and it's very interesting because it makes you think about beauty standards and what our society has done citizens how we conform to these standards and what they mean and it's just it's interesting because it challenges your, your morals, it challenges your beliefs, it challenges the way you think, it makes you think out of the box and it makes you think about this, this, this phenomenon of, of beauty, you know, and the impact it has on everyone around us, of everyone, of, on everyone in our society. So I think it's a very, very interesting collection and I definitely recommend it. I read it as a teenager which I think was even better because the protagonist is a teenage girl just so I could relate to many of the things that, that she went through or to many of the, the things that she thought about herself. So even if you're not a teenager, I recommend it because it is a book that can open up your, your mind to this issue. I can open your eyes to see what, how, how beauty standards influence our everyday lives so I definitely recommend this collection make sure you check it out it's really nice and then again if you if you read it and you don't like it you can just leave it and if you love it like I did you can just go pick up the rest of the books because it really was a great collection it really really was I just wanted to share my thoughts on them with you because I love when people ask me for book recommendations and this is something that a lot of people on my Instagram have been requesting for so I really I really wanted to share this with you. My second book choice to show you is Othello by William Shakespeare. And yeah, you might think if you're an Othello fan or even if you've read it for school, you might think, oh, okay, I already read that. Um, but I think it's something that needs to be read. I think it's definitely interesting. It's a play, so it's very interesting to read and the way you, I really enjoy reading plays because I actually act them out in my mind or out loud. And I think it, it's a great way of expanding your vocabulary and and just reading Shakespeare is kind of a way of learning. So it's something that if you read, it'll enrich your vocabulary. It'll expand the way you write. So it, it's very good. It's very, very good. Um, again, uh, it's, it's just a play. So it's very interesting to read and it's it reflects on the issue of jealousy and its consequences and it is a tragedy so it's very interesting because it gets you thinking about the issue of jealousy you know in relationships in in partnerships and everything so i think it's even if it's not in partnerships like in relationships to other people around you how jealousy plays a role in the way we live and, and what we do so definitely check out othello now this book I love reading Shakespeare without getting translations because I love it. I love being confused and having to figure out what, what things mean and and getting exposed to new things without getting an explanation. But if you're someone that wants to have that extra explanation, there are books that, unlike this one, this one only has the text, the Shakespeare written text. Um, some books have the regular text on one side and then they have the translation on the other side so it's very interesting i really like it i yeah i love othello so definitely recommend to all of you you haven't read it the next book that i'm going to share with you 
and that I recommend that you read is The House of the Scorpion. I do not have my copy because I, I lose a lot of things, but I have the second, the sequel, which I purchased and I read and it was great. And it's just a very interesting read. It really is. It's a good, good collection. It gets you thinking. It, it challenges your moral beliefs a lot and and also makes you test your empathy in a way because you can relate to the characters and how much can you relate to the characters how much can you feel for the characters for what they're going through so it really it's something that's like testing your empathy and i just think that's such a great thing uh to do in a book it's very insightful and it's super exciting it is fiction it's super super exciting it's an exciting read because it just it never stops so it's good i went for the second book that's all i have to say it's a really good book so definitely recommend it definitely recommend it and my fourth book recommendation is a walk across the sun by corbin addison and this book is amazing it opened my eyes to the whole issue of human and sex trafficking and it is a book that makes you think it's suspenseful and it conveys a very important message which is that this this hidden issue that happens around us all the time and we just go living our normal lives and we don't really stop to think about it much and how much how many people in the world get affected by human and sex trafficking and this book actually i really i've always been interested in human and sex trafficking in the topic and in, in doing research to to figure out what what is happening with this problem really and where in the world uh this is happening the most and what we can do about it and i since reading this book i've been more inspired and more driven to talk about this issue so i specifically talk about it in my poetry in my writing and now here so it's something that it's a book that really gets you thinking and that really makes you conscious about this issue that happens in the world today and that is still happening that and that lets you know that slavery is still a thing in the world and well it, it's it's a strong book and it it talks about the crude the crudeness and the the coldness of this issue and the people who do it so i think it's a book that i entirely recommend i love this read it's you read it really fast let me just tell you that really really good book super recommended by me and my last book recommendation for today because i love reading so i will definitely have more and don't worry these are not these are some of my favorite books definitely but there are definitely more so if i'm forgetting a book that i love which is very possible uh i'll show it to you some other time when i do another five book recommendation so my last recommendation is interview with the vampire by anne rice and it's something it's a great book it really is a great book it's thrilling and suspenseful and you you're not able to put it down it's it's like a horror book but at the same time it's a suspense book it, it's a mix between the two and it's just a book that you can never put down it's one of the original vampire books of all time and many films and many other books have been inspired by interview with the vampire and i love this book so so much that i got the sequel and it's just it's a great book it really is you want more you want more and it plays a lot with your mind and challenges your feelings for the the characters in the book so it's a really really interesting read and that is all thank you so much for watching my video i definitely recommend all of these books they're what they're a few of my favorite books of all time i would definitely read all of these again the entire series of all of them again all the collections because these books are really really good and they almost if not all of them 
all of them actually all of them reflect on issues that are happening today and that is the type of reading that i personally want to do because as a reader i want a book to contribute something to to me you know to to bring something to me to think about after i read it i would not want to read a book that is just ends and that's like that's it i want a book that makes me think i want a book that challenges my process of thinking that challenges my beliefs that makes me expand my mind so thank you very much for watching i'm super excited for this video to come out make sure you like subscribe and follow me on instagram and twitter and thank you so so much i love you bye